Hi, I'm in my bathroom and uh, I've just got up and I'm still feeling a bit sleepy and I noticed a little uh, visitor on the wall behind me. So take a look at this. This is what everyone is um, panicking about in the UK at the moment. This is what everyone's panicking about in the UK at the moment. Well, they're not really panicking, but there is a kind of a wave of fear and hysteria going around because people are scared of spiders, uh, women in particular, although that's a bit of a generalisation. And um, anyway, this is what everyone's been calling the false widow spider that's uh, allegedly been biting people left, right and centre in the UK and causing something of an epidemic. Sort of climb on the bath now without falling over. Which is probably the only way this spider's going to hurt me. These little things, I'm within about two inches of it at the moment. I get them in my flat all the time, especially at this time of year, when the uh, weather's turning colder and they come inside because it's a bit warmer. There's a bit more moisture in it, and as you can see, it's not trying to attack anybody. I'm within two inches of it. It's probably not even aware that I'm there. Obviously, you don't uh, poke your finger in a spider's mouth and try not to sit on them, but they're hardly uh, a problem, are they? You see, it's up there. That's about 18 inches behind me. And it's, uh, it's not aggressing me, it's not attacking me. It's just sitting there in its web, waiting for a little bug to fly in there so it can have some lunch, basically. So I've got a little glass, a little piece of card. I just put the glass over the spider, put the card over the glass, put it outside, no problem. I've got a, a stick here, which is an old tent pole. I'm going to try poking it just to see how it reacts. Well, you can see it's not uh, it's not aggressive at all. As soon as I got near it, it just ran and hid. I wasn't trying to bite humans or anything. What I do is I put a little glass over it, slide a card under the glass, and the. Uh, Poor little spiders become so afraid it's curled up into a ball. It's hardly something to be scared of, is it? Anyway, so I'll just take the glass and tip it outside out the window. Close the window. Little spider's free. Hasn't bitten anybody. No problem. Yeah, the problem is, of course, is now anyone sees a little brown spider or a little black spider and um, they assume it's a false widow spider. There's actually about 10 species of spiders in the UK that are capable of um, biting humans, but none of them are reported as being highly toxic or poisonous. And um, if, you, if you look, if you go and look on Wikipedia or wherever it is you use as your source for information, and uh, if you study the spiders, you'll see that hardly any of them look like black widows anyway. And the original false widow spider rumour went around in the UK in the late 1980s when an uh, African spider came over which was black and had a white spot on its back and did actually look like a bit of a black widow. But these little uh, brown things we get in the UK just don't look anything like, bra <laughs> like black widows or brown widows. That's probably why they call them false widows, I suppose, because they don't kill you either. Oh well, anyway... Fun evening, spider catching. These give you something like an effect, like a bee, bee sting. That's my little video. Thanks for watching. That's my little video. Thanks for watching. Job done.